hi. I'm, I'm discovering a new instrument here. Um, I'm Herb Deutsch, and uh, my years of working with new synthesizers were many, but they were many years ago. And it's, very, it's been very exciting to see a new instrument in this form in front of me, and it's, I, I, I'm ha absolutely having a wonderful time discovering it. I did work with Bob on the first basic idea of what a synthesizer should be, and out of that came the wonderful Model D uh, Mini Moog, but, uh, and, and the concept of the modular instruments. It was very exciting to look at a new synthesizer in the process of being uh, developed. The um, last Moog synthesizer that I actually worked on the design of was the instrument that we called the Opus 3 synthesizer, and that was back in 1980, 81. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to look at another brand new instrument in its design. The Moog filter is the distinctive sound of Moog. Uh, in, in the early days, it was the first and I think earliest, the only patent that Bob Moog was able to get on the first synthesizer, and that filter sound became the Moog sound. And of course, it's built into this instrument. But one of the things that I'd really like to make sure that it's clear is something called the multi-drive, and that is built into the filter section of the instrument. But it, what it does is it drives the filter in a way much greater than the original overload was on the Minimoog, which was a really great sound. But here you can get unusually rich and powerful effects. <laughs> That's the sub oscillator with the power of the multi drive added to it. If I kick up the multi drive, I'm not sure what'll happen, but let's give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, there's a, a, a tonic note to end your concert on. <laughs> and when you hear that, it. You, what at first, the first thought you have is, okay, this is just making it louder. But it's much more than making it louder. It's enriching the filter's sound. And providing a very powerful sound to the instrument. Something that I've not really heard in analog instruments. It's kind of something you would have liked to have imagined could be there, but it's beautiful to have it sound there. Especially now, when, it's, when I'm adding the sub oscillator to that, you get this wonderful possibility of bass lines that are just inc absolutely intriguing. In general, the most powerful thing that I see here today is the the filter, which does so much more than you expect from a filter. I mean, you know that a filter does these great things, but with the multi-drive and the sub-oscillator, you now have a power. There's just a, a, an, an incredible, and I wish I had one to play with for a few weeks instead of looking at it really for the first time today. <laughs> That richness is something that, you know, is, is just very, very powerful. It's also very powerful because these oscillators are unusually in tune, <laughs> I have to tell you. Uh, you know, when you've been playing 
analog instruments for many years, you know that when you get oscillators that really are in tune, it's a beautiful thing to hear. And I know that because I certainly have an old Mini Moog and a lot of times early in those years, I had to make some changes in the oscillators and that's not gonna happen here. I, I would almost guarantee. You know, what I, one of the things that I'd like to mention uh, that, that is not new to analog synthesizers, but very sophisticated on this instrument is the noise generator. This is a very, very rich noise generator. I'm just going to play it literally, just listen to the, the noise generator itself. It's quite an addition to the amount of music and the amount of effects that you can create. It's been a very, very exciting time for me. It is very exciting to have gotten an instrument in my hands literally one day and be able to feel the, the, the instrument and feel it and feel how comfortable it is to learn even when the panel isn't even finished. So it's a very exciting day and I really loved it. Again, um, my name's Herb Deutsch and I've been in this electronic music world for a very long time, <laughs> probably about 45 or 50 years. Um, so uh, let me just doodle a bit more and uh, we'll let me say so long to this wonderful new instrument.